You know what I'm saying? This is a real serious subject, so I want to make sure through the Spirit I bring out the right scriptures. 2 Corinthians 5. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. It says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. We walk by faith and not by sight. Meaning what? Everything that we we do and believe in is what? By faith. Meaning what? We know that there's that Yahweh Shai do exist. Even though we don't see him, we know he exists in our everyday life. That's why I say we walk by faith and not by sight. Even when, let's say, a cop pull you over. Even though you know you didn't do nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? Or even a, it might be a, a minor traffic violation, like you, like you try to beat the yellow light, but it turn red, and the cops pull you over. Even in that, if you have faith in your how about shooting you with shot, guess what? He'll deliver you out of this situation. It may be, he may put the spirit on that, that policeman not to give you a ticket, just to give you a warning to, you know, slow it down. Or next time, just stop when it's a yellow light. See what I'm saying? But that's what? Faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, knowing that when you, when you pray to him, that what? He going to deliver you about this situation. See what I'm saying? That takes what? Great faith. It says, uh, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. That's right. We don't want to be here on this earth anymore, man. You know, a lot of us brothers be like, man, I'm ready to leave this earth. I'm tired of being here. I hate this place. But we know we got a job to do, man. That's why we're still here on this earth. Why? Because we got to go out here and preach the word. And you how about shooting me? I was shot. But in order for us to do that, that means what? We got to have faith in knowing and what we believe in, man. This is not some uh, Boy Scout club, man, or... Or just some uh, some random uh, uh, group, uh, men's group? No, this is this is the Lord's chosen work, man. The Lord choose you to come out here and, and and do His work. If you have the elect, man. But see, you gotta have faith in knowing that the Lord is not just using you for a moment to preach His word and spew you out. No, you gotta have faith in, in believing that you may be one of those elect men. That's why we always say, Lord willing. But still, we have faith in what we're saying. Lord willing, through faith, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that, I, that I'm one of those 144,000. See what I'm saying? Uh, for It said, uh, Wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. See what I'm saying? We are here laboring for what? The acceptance for the hope of, of what? Being delivered out this hell hole by who? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But we got faith in believing that we're going to be delivered about this hell hole, man. This ain't something we just saying that or we just out here doing. No. We got we actually got faith in believing that a power that we don't see is going to come and deliver us. That takes great faith. But we know he's there. Why? Because he always showing himself present. That's why I say well, that's why I say whether uh, whether present or absent. Meaning what? Even though the Lord is in the spirit world, He's still here with us. Why? Through our faith, man. Even even if He's present, He's what? We still believe in Him. How is He present? By by delivering us about this hellhole. He may send an angel down here to give you money. You know what I'm saying? Or to pay a bill. Or what? To to come to your rescue when somebody's trying to harm you. See what I'm saying? That takes what? Great faith. But everybody doesn't have that, man. It says, uh, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Jehovah Shai, that everyone that received the things done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad, See what I'm saying? We all must appear before the Lord, whether it's good or bad. But you got to have faith. I rebuke you, Satan.
But you got to have faith in knowing that the Lord is going to accept, accept you. See what I'm saying? That takes great faith, man. So like I said, we all must appear before the judgment seat of the Lord, whether it's good or bad. But you got to have faith that the Lord... But you got to have faith in knowing that the Lord is going to accept your good over your bad, man. Because all of us have done a lot of bad in, in our lifetime, man. You see what I'm saying? But you got to have faith in knowing that the Lord is going to accept it. And not cast you off, man. Into what? Damnation. Shot, song, the winds down. See what I'm saying? You gotta have faith, man. Because everybody don't have that faith. Some people say they do, but actually they don't, man. Because as soon as a problem arises, guess what? They don't depend on the Lord. They do what? Try, try and take matters in their own hands. Just like with finances, what brothers do. Instead of depending on the Lord, they go what? They go and get four and five jobs just to pay a bill. Instead of depending on Yahweh Shai to take care of that situation. Because Yahweh Shai would deliver you if you got faith and believe. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of brothers don't, man. That's why a lot of brothers... That's why a lot of brothers, man, be having problems, you know what I'm saying, with uh, with finances and all this other stuff. Yeah, you get cursed at the same time, but if you're not putting your trust in the Lord, well, guess what? You're not going to get yourself out of this situation. The Lord is not going to deliver you out of this situation. Why? Because you're not depending and trusting on Him. You're trying to do what you think you're going to do instead of putting it in the Lord's hands. Just like right now, I'm faced with a situation, a serious situation. But I'm not worried about it. Why? Because I got faith in Yahweh by shooting me out with shot. That he's going to deliver me about this situation. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to provide. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to sit here and stress over something that I have no control over. You know what I'm saying? That's why I leave everything into the hands of who? Yahweh by shooting me out with shot, man. That he going to take over the situation and control it. See what I'm saying? And take care of it. Next scripture I'm finna get. Colossians 1 and 23. It's Colossians 1 and 23. If ye continue in the faith, it says, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, how do you be grounded and settled? By what? Believing strongly in this word right here. In the word of who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because, like I said in the Apocrypha, his words are what? Faithful and true that's written on this paper, man. But you got to have faith to believe that. It said, if ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, what is the hope of the gospel? Salvation. The kingdom of heaven. To be joint heirs with your house shot. <coughs> you see what I'm saying? That's the hope that we have, man, and what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. But it said, if you continue in the faith and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. But it said, you have to continue in the faith. You see what I'm saying? With the hope of salvation. Well, with the hope of the gospel. 
And part of the hope is salvation. See what I'm saying? So that's a cut to them talking about you saved. No, because if you saved, that means what? You have no more hope on this side. You, that means there's no reason for you to have faith on this side. You already saved. So where is your faith and hope of salvation? It says, uh, I'm going to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2. I'm going to start at 3 verse 1. It says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Have free course how? All over your body, in your spirit. Let it go wherever it want to go in your spirit, man. To what? To, to what? To nurture you. To edify you. To make you grow and, and be sound in the faith, man. And it says what? Uh... And be glorified even as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable men and wicked men. For all men have not faith. See? All men have not faith. That's why we pray for the Lord daily and constantly to deliver us about this hellhole from wicked and unreasonable men. Now who is those unreasonable? The precepts say absurd. Now who is those absurd and wicked men. That's the people you see right here in America in your everyday life. See what I'm saying? Whether it be some two-third drug dealing nigga or, or a flaming faggot that's walking up and down the street, sashaying and prancing. Those are those unreasonable or absurd and wicked men. Those that don't try and keep the law of statute commandments of the Heavenly Father.